This is a MoClip in Maya tutorial. Thank you for watching. Um, the first thing you'll have to do is to go to MoClip.com and then go to the download section and download MoClip uh, along with the plugins uh, onto your machine. And then when that is done, just open the zip archive and in there you'll see there's the, the application and the various Maya uh, plugins that you can put uh, in the Maya bin folder, bin plugin folder. So you have uh, the plugins from Maya 2008 until the 2011. So uh, so here you only have to put it into Maya 2000, uh, well, your version, bin, and then plugin. And then as you can see, it is over here. So when you open Maya, you simply need to go into the plugin manager. And then you can load the MoClip Maya plugin, which will give you access to the MoClip, plugin, uh, MoClip menu here with a bunch of uh, useful commands. So here I have a scene loaded. I have a character which is referenced in, and I have this uh, helicopter crashing in a house. So now I'd like the character to be on the porch over here and jumping off as the helicopter is coming back in, uh, is uh, crashing into the house. So this is something that's really, really simple to achieve in, in MoClip. So all you have to do is to uh, launch MoClip and create a character. There you go. And then you need to start thinking about what you want this character to be doing. So here I'm going to load the clip, uh, the MoClip and Maya side by side so you can see what's happening. And then uh, and then here I'm going to start thinking, okay, I want him to run from there to there and then there will be an explosion. So I'll type in boom. And then I have here, I have a grenade explosion and I have a, a run and boom, So that, which is what I want. So I'll click on this. And then I'll check the my, the interrupt button, and then my character is going to be loaded way tiny in the middle of the uh, of the the scene. This is because the proportions between the mo the mocap character and the proportion between my my scene is not exactly the same. So what we'll do is we'll select the master of my character, which is an ultimate rig. Now, if you don't know about ultimate rig, simply go and look at, at the ultimate rig tutorial. But uh, uh, simply put, what it does, it, it basically takes the ratio between your character and your bones and the different body parts, and then it's going to calculate the offset uh, from um, the MoClip character and then compensate. So here I'll simply select my master and go export character proportion, and then there I'll just export it as Ian. This will be the name of my character, so the name of the file will be uh, the name of the character when, once you import. So I'll double click on my character and say load character proportion. And then when I open my when I open this file, you'll see that my character is now way bigger, and it has a scale 20, and it has a bunch of scale in the different body parts. So here now my character is actually uh, scaled properly, ready uh, to be animated. So I'm gonna take this this uh, this clip, and I'm gonna go and place it uh, on the on the balcony here, so like that. And then, uh, and then I'm gonna look at what it, the result is. So, boom. Okay. So, um, my character is jumping a little a little early. So, um, I'm gonna click uh, here in the channel box. You have the attributes for the clip, that, which is exactly like the, the attributes that you have over here in MoClip. So, I'm gonna just uh, put it a bit later. Let's say around frame five. Okay, so it's gonna just explode. Okay, boom. And now I want the character to obviously fall, not in the air, because right now it's falling in the air. I want him to fall down on the ground. So what I'll do is I'll take, I'll go down in the hierarchy and I'll move the end of the path uh, down. So um, what this does, it basically it blends out the clip to that location. And then I'll select my clip and I'll just change the weight. Okay. Boom, and then touching down. Okay. Okay, so now here I have a gap, so I want to fill that with uh, some some character running. Um, but now the character pivot is at the center of the world, and then my clip is over here in the scene. So if I add a clip, it's always adding the clip to the starting from. Uh, the, the the character pivot. So what I can do is right click on the character and say snap pivot to first clip. And now my pivot is now over here. So when I go to the search and I type let's say dash 
I have a sprint cycle. All right, I can click drag that over here. And now you see that my animation was slightly modified. Uh, and I'll just finish placing the clips here, here so the blending is, is pretty good. Uh, so I'll just basically I'll just uh, take that and go like this. And then, boom. Make sure it falls on the ground. Okay. All right, excellent. So, um, what do I want to add in there? Well, maybe instead, rather than having him falling down and uh, sort of dying here, here uh, I'm gonna have him uh, roll. So I'll just type in roll, and then I have a uh, run and roll, which I'll just click to add at the end here. What I'll do is I'll I'll simply go and take the portion where it rolls, just when when it just when it, it, the feet are lifting off the ground. I'm gonna take that, like such, and go and blend it into when the feet are off the ground over here. And then take the two together, and it's gonna go woo. All right, maybe give it a little more blending area. All right, so now my character in Maya is now animated properly. I can fix the blending, but you get the idea of what you can do and what you can't do. Uh, so, um, so what do I want for, to do from here? Uh, basically, I want to order that animation because this is uh, this is enough for now. This is what I want, and I want to add this in my scene uh, because this was my shot. So, so basically, you simply need to go to your account. Uh, well, make sure you save your scene now. The 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 scene, the mockup scene, is not saved as part of uh, of the Maya scene. So when you see when you save your scene, you need to save it in a separate file, um, separate step. So here I'll save that, and then I know this is my what I want. So I'll simply say submit animation, and then I'll check that out, and then. Uh, I simply want to uh, confirm my order and wait for the server to process the file. Alright, so there you go. The file has been processed. It took about uh, a minute. And uh, now uh, you can simply uh, click the balloon here or just refresh your page and you'll see that now this file has been completed. So I'll click the demo.zip I just uploaded. And then I'll save that onto my desktop. Alright, save. And now I can, uh, well, actually, in MoClip, when you're when you're done downloading it, you can click the delete button, and that will delete it from uh, your your user file. So um, here, what what is in this um, the zip file is basically um, your your file from uh, from MoClip in case you ever need it or you lose it, and you have the result scene. So demo Ian result scene. This is what I I've just created. So now what I want to do is to bring this animation in uh, in Maya. So you go in MoClip and you simply say import MoClip animation and you go to wherever you place your scene and that's gonna bring it into your scene and it will actually um, uh, create an ultimate rig out of the result skeleton. So here if we look at the with an x-ray joint mode you can see that the skeleton is actually right on top of my character here and it's actually uh, the, the blending area is actually a little bit better than what I had from MoClip because MoClip is just a visualization. So what we'll do now is to simply click MoClip and then go to the retarget menu, and then you, we select the source character, which is uh, the what's coming from MoClip, and then your your character that was uh, referenced in, and then you simply click the retarget button, and then there you go, your character is now uh, retargeted. So I'm going to just turn off the interoperability button just so we can see and turn off the um, the joints. And there you go. So now my character is animated. And that was done uh, within uh, 5 or 10 minutes. Uh, so, so that's it. Now the only thing that you have to do, if you need to bake that onto your character, you simply need to uh, select your your ultimate rig and say bake and then you select it uh, for for the entire time frame that you want and then you can keyframe on top of it uh, if you if you'd like if you need uh, any help go to the MoClip um, website and then go to the documentation section and you can go to the online uh, online section and then you have uh, an, an extensive help 
especially about the Moya plugin here that's going to tell you everything, how everything is working. So thank you for watching.